important math formulas every class 9 student must know. Teacher, hello students, how are you all doing today? Today, we will study some fundamental formulas in maths. Let's begin. Geometry. Now, what is the area of a rectangle? It is length times breadth and the perimeter is 2 times open parenthesis L times B close parenthesis. The area of a circle is pi r square where r is the radius and perimeter of a circle is 2 pi r. For triangle perimeter, it is very easy. Just add the lengths of all three sides. Open parenthesis P is equal to A plus B plus C close parenthesis. Area of a triangle is half times open parenthesis base times height close parenthesis. Area for a trapezoid is equal to half times H times open parenthesis B1 plus B2 close parenthesis and the perimeter is equal to A plus B plus C plus D. Did you get it students? Now let's move on to the area of parallelograms and triangles. Base times height is the area of a parallelogram. Its perimeter is twice times open parenthesis B plus H close parenthesis. Maths formula for circles. If you're wondering what are the formulas of a circle, we are coming right there. The diameter of a circle is 2R. The sector angle of a circle is theta is equal to open parenthesis 180 times L close parenthesis divided by open parenthesis pi times r close parenthesis and area of a sector is pi times open parenthesis capital R minus small r close parenthesis where capital R is the radius of the outer circle and small r is the radius of the inner circle. Algebra. Now let's revise algebra. I know it is a bit hard to learn all the formulas but write them down and put it on your study table so that you wake up each day and remember it. Now recite the formulas with me so that you memorize it well. 1. Open parenthesis a plus b close parenthesis whole square is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square. 2. Open parenthesis a minus b close parenthesis whole square is equal to a square minus 2ab plus b square. 3. Open parenthesis a plus b close parenthesis times open parenthesis a minus b close parenthesis is equal to a square minus b square. 4. Open parenthesis x plus a close parenthesis times open parenthesis x plus b close parenthesis is equal to x square plus open parenthesis a plus b close parenthesis times x plus ab. 5. Open parenthesis x plus a close parenthesis times open parenthesis x minus b close parenthesis is equal to x square plus open parenthesis a minus b close parenthesis times x minus ab. 6. Open parenthesis x minus a close parenthesis times open parenthesis x plus b close parenthesis is equal to x square plus open parenthesis b minus a close parenthesis times x minus ab. 7. Open parenthesis x minus a close parenthesis times x minus b close parenthesis is equal to x square minus open parenthesis a plus b close parenthesis times x plus ab. 8. Open parenthesis a plus b close parenthesis whole cube is equal to a cube plus b cube plus 3ab times open parenthesis a plus b close parenthesis. 9. Open parenthesis a minus b close parenthesis whole cube is equal to a cube minus b cube minus 3ab times open parenthesis a minus b close parenthesis. Are you all with me? Heron's formula. The second most significant formula of a triangle is 
Heron's formula. It is another formula to derive the area of a triangle. A is equal to square root of open square parenthesis S times open small parenthesis S minus A close small parenthesis times open small parenthesis S minus B close small parenthesis times open small parenthesis S minus C close small parenthesis close square parenthesis where S is called the semi perimeter open small parenthesis S is equal to A plus B plus C close small parenthesis divided by 2 polynomials next we move on to polynomials where you will see a common formula F times open parenthesis X close parenthesis is equal to 3x square plus 5x plus 90 which you have to solve after finding x surface areas and volumes the surface area and volumes of 3d objects are the simplest of all lsa of a 3d object like cube cuboid circular cylinder pyramid and prism is the lateral surface area you don't count the up and the down parts of it just the lateral part of it and when TSA, total surface area, is mentioned in the question, you consider the entire 3D object. You don't have to worry about the dimensions as they are always given in the question. All you have to do is remember the right formula for the right shape. And these are the formulas for all of them. Cuboid hyphen LSA colon 2H times open parenthesis L plus B close parenthesis divided by TSA colon 2 times open parenthesis LB plus BH plus HL close parenthesis divided by volume colon L times B times H cube LSA colon 4A square divided by TSA colon 6A square divided by volume colon a cube right circular cylinder lsa colon 2 times open parenthesis pi r h close parenthesis divided by tsa colon 2 pi r times open parenthesis r plus h close parenthesis divided by volume colon pi r square h right pyramid lsa colon half times P times L divided by TSA colon LSA plus area of the base divided by volume colon 1 by 3 times area of the base times H sphere LSA colon 4 pi R square divided by TSA colon 4 pi R square divided by volume colon 4 by 3 times open parenthesis pi r cube close parenthesis in all the cases above l stands for length b for breadth and h for height in the case of a circular object it is pi and r is for radius statistics and probability mean is equal to sum of all observations divided by total number of the observations why median is equal to open square parenthesis open small parenthesis n plus 1 close small parenthesis divided by 2 close square parenthesis th term open square parenthesis for odd number of observations close small parenthesis divided by mean of open small parenthesis n divided by 2 close small parenthesis th term and open small parenthesis n divided by 2 plus 1 close small parenthesis th term open square parenthesis for even number of observations close square parenthesis mode is equal to maximum repeatability of number lines and angles and lastly lines and angles one complementary angles are those whose sum is equal to 90 degrees 2. Supplementary angles are those 
whose sum is equal to 180 degrees. 3. Vertically opposite angles are those when two lines intersect with each other. Then their vertically opposite angles are the same. So, there you go. The 10 most important concepts in your syllabus. But make sure to revise all the formulas. You must practice as much as you can.